Good morning and welcome to the kids spot this morning. I wonder, can you guess where I'm sitting in the church? And if you're in the church building, I wonder, can you spot it? Hmm. That's right, I'm in the back corner in our newly improved kids section. This is a zone for you guys to come and hang out and do the craft and the activity for the day. And there's now a comfy place where you can read some books, including the story that we are going to read and hear about today. It's going to be up the back of the church or online if you're watching from home. And it's up to you guys this morning to read it together. After you've read the story, there are two activities that you can do. The first one is to make a craft you're gonna make your very own fishy. <laughs> There's all the materials you need up the back of the church, or again, you can find on the website the instructions. And some other instructions you'll find is for Montessori-inspired activity. This is best for our little ones, our toddlers, it's two to five kind of thing. Um, there's a little card inside here that you will find that will explain the activity. And basically, you're just fishing for fish. And this links in with the story for today where we're gonna see that Jesus has miraculous power over nature. It's very cool. And you'll notice at the back of the church, they're on the floor at the moment, but eventually there will be a shelf. There's a bunch of other Montessori inspired activities for our little ones. For example, this one is about God's promise with the rainbow that has a book for you to read. And there's always gonna be a few down here for you to do if you're in church in person. This is to promote little ones learning, um, their fine motor skills, and most importantly, their love of Christ. So please come up the back and use all of these resources. There's also coloring and toys and all sorts of things. We love for church to be a space that kids um, are welcome um, and are part of God's family because that's the way that he has designed it to be. So if you're a kiddo this morning, what you're gonna do is head to the website or down the back of the church and read the page of the book that is bookmarked while the adults hear the sermon. And then you're going to make your craft, your little fishy, decorate it, send me a photo if you want. And then you can do the activity or any of the other activities. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what you do. So please feel free to email me or message me with any comments or photos or questions. Let me pray. Dear God, thank you that you have created church to be a, like a family. Please help us to love people of all ages and stages and sizes. Please bring along kids to our church and help them to grow in their knowledge and love of